marijuana making lots of local headlines this week, and it's not just because of a Chiefs player called Dwayne Bowe, who was arrested for marijuana possession after being pulled over for speeding. In Johnson County, a Leewood couple files a federal lawsuit over a SWAT-style home raid last year by heavily armed sheriff's deputies who wrongly believed the couple was growing marijuana because they had earlier been seen leaving a store that sold hydroponic gardening equipment. They're seeking $7 million in Compens uh, compensatory and punitive damages, according to the suit, after they and their two young children were allegedly intimidated, traumatized, and held under armed guard for more than two hours while deputies searched their home during the early morning raid. Meanwhile, this weekend, a state marijuana convention is being held downtown with speakers from across the country attending. One of the main agenda items is to discuss placing on the Missouri ballot next year an initiative to tax and regulate marijuana like alcohol. Now, other states have in Acted laws to permit the legal sale of marijuana. Has the political climate changed in Missouri to make this initiative even an electoral possibility in the Show Me State? Stacey Cameron. Anyone who believes that has been smoking the marijuana. <laughs> let's, I mean, let's be honest, we still live in, in, in Missouri where it is a conservative state. Are, are the pendulums possibly swinging to that happening? Maybe. Maybe for medicinal marijuana, but to open up the regulation where it's going to be regulated and taxed more like alcohol? No way. I agree with that. I talked to a Missouri state senator this week, Jason Holzman, talking about introducing legislation next session for medicinal marijuana, taking a small step forward on that front. That might open the door to broader usage four, five, ten years down the road. But there is a change, though, in the argument, is that because it's also about revenue now. I mean, you, if you are going to regulate it this way, there's a huge amount of revenue, and states need the money, don't they, Eric? That one state did, uh, what is it, Denver did $25 Colorado. tax on it. So, yeah, there's a possibility that they could use it to generate revenue, but other than that, I don't see Missouri that as conservative as it is enough. flying. I thought there was a national opinion poll just recently issued, Dave Helling, that said that the American public, for the first time, is now in support of legalization of marijuana. Well, there is. Has that changed the dynamics um, politically? Colorado and Washington State are pursuing almost full legalization of marijuana. And there is a, a libertarian argument that's now being made, quite apart from what money it provides to government, that this is no business for the government to be in, that you know, use of pot in the privacy of one's home should not be a, an issue. And that gives it a sliver of a chance in a state like Missouri, which does have some sort of libertarian bent. But I think my colleagues are all right. It's going to be difficult, even though I, I need to point this out, the name of the senator from Missouri is Blunt. So that suggests there may be some support for marijuana in the state. So we, we, uh, you don't Maybe. see it being on on the ballot in Missouri in 2014? I do not. No. Because okay. I, 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 there's always a hurdle to try and even get these things on yes, the ballot. Yes, it's right. very difficult to get them on. I wouldn't count on 